Hey guys, what's up? I'm the Handheld Gamer, and welcome to the second episode of the Handheld Monday Show, your weekly podcast for all things handheld, console, whatever, related towards gaming in general, whatnot. Uh, uh, hi. Um, I am recording this Monday night, so if you guys see it Tuesday or if it's uploaded on Tuesday, um, welcome to the Handheld Tuesday Show. So, yeah, I, um, I was, I was, uh, going to record it, uh, Sunday night, but I was exhausted, uh, watching Game of Thrones, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't concentrate, and so here I am talking about E3, which is the main, the main focus of this, of this episode, um, uh, because E3 was, you know, it's the hugest event of, of all gaming, well, one of the, the, uh, Purchase events, and I figured why not just go over what I overall th uh, thought of it, what I, I thought of the conferences, and just the highlighted games that I'm most excited for. So that said, here we go with Microsoft, since they were the first ones to go. Now Microsoft, as someone who owns the Xbox One, um, I thought they did a very good job. Um, it was just all just all games, that's all they showed, which I which I'm 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 so for. I, I'm glad to uh, see them actually do that. Uh, because for a while, usually, if it, if it wasn't for TV, it was for Connect, which we should, which we saw neither one of them. We saw a bit of Connect, but not even that, like barely. Like some dude talking about some music games coming out for it, and they didn't even show any gameplay. So no Connect, just all games. And for what they showed, I thought it was very good. Uh, they start off with, well, I will. Uh, of uh, uh, Phil Spencer went first, and he's not the the head of Xbox, and I'm so so glad he is because he's much better than say Don Matrick or whoever the hell was in charge of Xbox. And no Larry Herb, no uh, Major Nelson. He was in the pre-show, but nothing like in the main conference. So I'm happy for that because I hate that man. Uh, but Phil Spencer, I I uh, think he's fantastic, and I look forward to seeing what he can do with the brand. Um, and and then hinted that they had Call of Duty, uh, Advanced Warfare, which as someone who hasn't played Call of Duty in say three to four years, um, it looks interesting, a, a, a hell of a lot more uh, interesting than say Ghost was last year. Um, so look forward to seeing more of that. Plus as well as you know, it having Kevin Spacey, so it kind of got me there. Um, and then they had uh, Forza Horizon Two, which as someone who's played. Uh, Forza 5 and, and has loved it like every minute of it um, I'm interested in this game not a huge fan of the racing genre but um, I'm curious to see what this game has to offer so that's a plus I guess and then they show off Evolve or like, like a new a new monster so that was cool um, it looks really fun and sh it shows off like the main th uh, theme of this whole event which is co-op which I'm okay with uh, and then they had just a bunch of other games. They had Sunset Overdrive, which looks incredible. They had um, Scalebound, a new a new game uh, made by made by uh, Putnam Games. So I'm curious to see what that looks like. New Crackdown, so that's cool. Uh, Fable Legends, which is heavily co-op and it looks interesting. Looks n nothing like Fable, but it could still be good. I don't know. Then they had Phantom Dust, um, a remake of the Cold Hit, which I've, I've never played the game personally, but from what I've heard, it's fantastic. So I need to get my hands on that game to, to see what all the fuss is about. Then they had the Dead Rising 3 DLC, the, uh, oh god, the Arcade Hyper Ultra Edition uh, EX Alpha Plus Omega, some, something crazy, and, and this is very much like Capcom, which was just hilarious to see. Uh, they had a game, uh, Inside, which looks phenomenal, as well as, um, Hori and the Forgotten Land, I believe is the title of it, uh, whatever it is, it, 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 it looks fantastic, it looks gorgeous, I'm told, it's very much, uh, in the style of Metroidvania, style of, uh, gameplay, which I'm all for, and so, yeah, so I'm excited for that one, uh, what else they had, they had... Dragon Tank Position looks fantastic. Assassin's Creed Unity, as someone who's not a fan of the series, looks pretty sweet, as well as the combat. 
the combat looks much better than, say, previous games did. Um, so that's and and it just looks more fluid and more more uh, fast paced and uh, streamlined, more 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 flowing of, of gameplay, which I'm all, I'm all for. They showed off the division, which just looks phenomenal. I'm trying to think of anything else besides the one game, I I I just I really I really was uh, happy for. Um, they announced a new uh, Tomb Raider game, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Dumb name, but I'm sure it'll be good. Um, I think that's the majority of them. That's not. I'm sure. It's not, I'm sure I'm missing a few. Like they like they had a montage of these great uh, indie games that they were showing off and stuff, which was cool to see. But in terms of everything else, I'm trying to, nothing really sticking out on my mind, except for one. And that has to be the, the Halo Master Chief Collection. Oh my god. For those who don't know, I'm a huge Halo fanboy. And to see this and hear this and have them t and show off gameplay. Oh, oh, all four games. Oh, over 100 multiplayer maps all online. That's just fucking brilliant. The Halo 5 beta, as well as Halo Nightfall, the uh, miniseries being made by Willie Scott. So... Like holy crap, that's a lot of Halo. That 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 just makes me so happy. <laughs> Cannot wait to play the shit out of that game. Play all those maps and you know to because I don't play Halo. I played Halo Two locally as well as Halo Three, but I, I never played them online like hardcore like like how I was with say Halo Reach or, or with Halo Four. I I, I didn't really play them online because I didn't have live. Uh, and to finally be able to to, to who had those games online, as well as Halo 1, because it was only uh, online on PC, and the and, and the and the anniversary edition wasn't the best for recreating the Halo 1 multiplayer, but what can you do? Uh, but yeah, but I'm, I'm just very, very excited for that game. So the, the whole conference had to be that game. Uh, just, it just looks phenomenal. I think that's... Again, most of the games that they showed off. Um, again, I'm sure I'm missing a few. Yeah, I think that's the games I'm 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 most interested in. I'm sure I've got one that was like hugely important that I completely completely skipped over. So I apologize for that. But overall, I thought they did a very good job, and um, yeah, I thought it was a solid uh, conference. Then we had EA. Then moving on. Uh, oh, oh my God, EA. Uh, Wow, the two games that I was sort of interested in, well, well one that was really, was uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, because I'm super pumped for that game, because I'm a fan of the first one. The second one's alright, but I, I just want this series to be just this grand, beautiful scale, like this open world scale of just, just these monsters and demons and, and just this giant fantasy world. I'm hoping, and, and, and I think... I'll, I will have this game in the form of uh, Inquisition. So uh, the whole whole EA conference, that one was my pick. Then they had Battle of Your Hardlines near the end, or had the end. And as someone who wasn't too excited for the game, uh, looks looks cool. Looks like Battlefield 4, but with cops and robbers. So yeah, that's a thing. Um, it looks it looks like Michael Bay cops and robbers, but uh, you, but well, whatever. But it 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 looked cool from uh what they showed off. But then they had the rest of the conference, and like they had the they could have had it so good with like say Battlefront or Mirror's Edge, but they showed off nothing. I mean, with Battlefront they had like three ten sec like like a ten second clip of like speed bikes like dry like moving, and one of my friends is like, oh, that's all we need, and like. It, they showed up quite a bit. I'm like, what the fuck are you? T they showed up nothing. <laughs> it was like night. Ugh. Oh god, they like didn't. Uh, and they're like, expect more spring of next year. Fuck off. Really, you couldn't just have like just another trailer, something like that. I feel like we we somehow got more gameplay of last year's teaser and it was all CG than we did this year. Speaking of that, Mirror's Edge. Um, I thought they were working on the game, not going like. I feel like last year's E3 that it it had more Mirror's Edge than this year's E3, which is really 
really weird to say. Um, yeah, but they could, like, but they could have gotten big, and uh, that that wasn't the case, uh, unfortunately. So, besides that, sports, 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 sports. Sims Four, don't give a shit uh, at all, not for me. But I know there's an audience for these sports games. Like my my girlfriend is excited for the new hockey, the new uh, NHL, which you know, fine by her. But me personally, just could not care. So EA was clearly the worst. And yeah, just it it has moments, but just was not good at all. Especially Sims 4, that was just fucking stupid. Um, then we had Ubisoft. Well, Ubisoft was very good. Uh, they had they they had Far oh it, wait, no, I'm sorry they had Far Cry 4, uh, which was very cool to to see, especially the villain because he, he looks awesome. Then they had Just Dance. Uh, okay. Not my cup of tea, but alright. Uh, then they had, and speaking of which, a U shape, a U shape, U ship, U shape, uh, game where you work out and, and, and it's like a game. And actually, as someone who wants to lose weight and to try and uh, stay healthy more, you know, more, to be more healthy, um, this might be on my alley, kind of. Now, now for 60 bucks, don't know about that, but. Bring down a bed, I'll probably buy it. Um, I, I'm hoping it's like 40, but that's uh, wishful thinking. Um, but yeah, but it looks interesting. Uh, they had more uh, South Community. Again, looks beautiful. Uh, the crew looks awesome. The division looks awesome, as always. Um, Valiant Hearts looks so good. I cannot wait for that game. You have no idea. It looks so beautiful. And so, oh, oh, that trailer, man. I got goosebumps. That was Saf the dog. And I cannot wait for that game to uh, come out in a few weeks. But the big game, the 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 game, Rainbow Six Siege. Oh, my God. Now, I'm a huge fanboy of not only Halo, but Tom Clancy. And like, oh, what about the uh, Division? Well, that was last year. And last year was fantastic. This year was Rainbow Six time, and yes, oh, Rainbow Six is so good, and 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 I cannot wait to play the shit out of this game online. It's gonna be fantastic, and what it also means too is that when it comes out, it means we're this much closer to getting a new Ghost Recon game. Please and thank you. Uh, that's I, I I love that series. Out of out of all of them, that was my uh my absolute favorite. So yeah. For me, it was Siege. Just looks so good, so beautiful, and so, and like, sh like insanely, just fun to play online and play co-op. So I'm very much looking forward for that. So yeah, Ubisoft, solid job. Then we had Sony. I do not own a PS4, but I do own a Vita, and PS1, PS2, PS3, and PSP. So I'm not like an Xbox fanboy. Don't get me wrong. I love both, both uh, companies as well as Nintendo, which I'll get, you know, more. Hint you in a second, but with Sony, uh, they did good. They had some problems, um, mainly two of them, being one, uh, the Vita. They talked about it for like a minute, maybe, and they had a lot of games that like, like a lot of uh, you know, smaller titles. You know, it was, you know, you know, it said PS4 and PS Vita, which I'm all for, but we know it's an indie powerhouse. Show us like big budget games that show us like why we should buy the Vita. Why people should buy Vita, and where was that bundle? I was so hoping for that bundle so that more people would buy that, and they would have more Vita, so we, so we, so there would be more games for it. But no, 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 we we got that PlayStation TV, which okay. Um, if I had a PS4, I probably, I probably would have been excited, but I don't. So, but it's not for me. But whatever. Uh, it it plays PS Vita games, but does not use uh, only the ones that don't use the Vita functionality. So say so. so Gravity Wash. Um, what the fuck did I just say? Gravity Rush. Wash. <laughs> Gravity Rush. Uh, probably probably won't work on, on the PS TV. Um. So whatever. And then I had this the like this long ass segment of just just TV and. Just shows and movies and like and like the Russian Clank movie looks really good, uh, but other than that, it was just so and and Sony, okay. Last year, 
you you threw a lot of punches and they worked. But this year, like like the only punches you really made was the how 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 us gamers had the choice to buy the PS4 camera. Hint hint connect. Uh, okay, and then you guys bashed EA, I think, which is really weird, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, but just, guys, you're starting to act kind of dickish, like, it wasn't even, like, a, a good burn, it was just kind of mean, like, well, last year worked, but this year, not so much. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, yeah, but, <laughs> as for games, they had Untried 4, Looks Beautiful, Batman Arkham Knight, Holy Shit, Mortal Kombat X, holy shit, oh, that was so good, uh, they had more Far Cry 4, looks awesome, they had Destiny, looks awesome, looks fantastic, not exclusive though, uh, they had The Order, 1886, uh, is that 1866, 1886, yeah, yeah, uh, looks, looks gorgeous, but for gameplay wise, I don't know, I'm not 100% convinced. Uh, they had no drive club, which is weird because it's, it's out in September. Um, so, or no, it's, it's out in October. Uh, so, okay. But but the one exclusive that I was most, I was most excited for was Lil Big Planet 3. Looks adorable. Looks fun as hell. Uh, and it'll be also out on PS3, so it's not even like a PS4 exclusive. It's a PlayStation exclusive. So I'll probably buy it on PS3 then. Alright then. So be it. Uh, but I I love Little Big Planet. It's a fantastic series. So I'm ha- so I'm I'm uh, hyped for that. But for the overall game of the show, it's got to be No Man's Skies. Holy shit, that game looks incredible. It looks too good, too good to be true. Probably is too good to be true. But I don't care. I'm one. But and it's I'm on PS4 first. Waiting for the Xbox version though. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, that's be so good, so good. Yeah. So. Out of all the the first four conferences, it was Halo uh, Collection, Dragon's Inquisition, Rainbow Six Siege, and No Man's Skies. Those were like the four major games that I was I was most excited for for those uh, four conferences. Then we had Nintendo, who was a day who was a day later. Um, their event was humorous. Uh, they had Robot Chicken do some skits, which was cool to see. They had this vent. Fantastic battle with uh, Reggie and Iwata, which was just amazing. They announced me characters being part of Smash Brothers as well as Palutena, and later on that the uh, event was uh, Pac-Man. So that's, that's awesome to uh, to see. Uh, they had Yoshi's Yoshi's Woolly World looks adorable, looks fun, looks so good. Um, they had the new uh, they had Hy- Hyrule. Uh, Warriors looks a lot, a lot of fun, a lot, lot more uh, interesting than say when they first announced it. it looks a lot more uh, fun. They had Xenoblade Chronicles X or Cross, whatever. It looks gorgeous, um, and I'm and I'm excited for that game. But Bayonetta Two looks insanely fun, and it includes the first one, which I, I've not yet played yet. So that's encouraging uh, for me as as well. Um, but it, but in Japan you get both the discs, but in the U.S. you get Bayonetta two on the disc and you get a download code for Bayonetta one. Uh, okay, sure, why not? They have the new Kirby game looks a lot of fun. Mario Maker uh, looks like I cannot wait to see what uh people do. Uh, to to and just it it just looks so good. Uh, they had Splatoon, a new IP, which is a Four and four shooter. That's a painting type thing. It, it it sounds weird, but it looks really fun. So there's that. Um, what else besides like the big one that I'm going to? Uh, no Metroid. So that's a bummer. Uh, they teased the Star Fox, but we haven't been, we didn't see much of it. But we do know it exists. So that's cool. Um, try to name anything else. Oh, the Toad, the Captain Toad game. All right then, I I, I have no cl- I have no complaints with that. Um, yeah, I think that's most of them, ex- uh, and except for the new Zelda on Wii U. Oh, oh my God, that game looks incredible. It looks so beautiful, and just the fact that you can go wherever the fuck you want 
makes me very excited because the one thing I, I like the but the past few Zelda games is always hand holding like like here's where you go now here's where you go now now it's just this open this open world yeah it, it's an open world Zelda game which is awesome so I, I'm very excited to uh, see what they do with that game um, they had also at the end of the events like like a post show they had the Devil's Third looks like it's so bad it's good type feel like it looks just so cheesy and just awful. That could be fun. <laughs> and then, like Sony, the uh, 3DS was kind of kind of put off to the sideline. But they, however, unlike day two of uh, E3, they announced a uh, codename Steam, a new IP for the 3DS that looks a lot of fun. Um, it's made by the guys who did uh, the... Fire Emblem and Advanced Wars series, so that's encouraging. And it's essentially like the uh, Valkyra Chronicle games, where it's a strategy game, but it's played by a third-person point of view, where you move the troops uh, individually in a third-person view. Uh, which I love those uh, uh, kind of games, so to uh, see this looks amazing. And, uh, and the concept is fantastic. Like, you are a group of people who was formed by Abraham Lincoln to stop the alien threat. Yes, please. Um, that sounds so good. <laughs> and it looks beautiful as well. Like, it's very, uh, comic book style, like, back in, like, the early ages of comic books. So, which is very, which is very cool to see. And it, it just looks a lot of fun. It'll be out next year. Looks awesome. So, for the handheld-wise, that's my, uh, handheld choice. And for Nintendo themselves, I gotta say, man, they... They won E3. I'm not gonna lie. They they really showed off what what they have. And now I, I'm happy that I own a Wii U. I really am. It, it is a good machine, and that I will have solid games, you know, in the uh, pipeline and stuff. So I'm I'm very much uh, looking forward to uh, seeing more out of it. So yeah. So overall, I think Nintendo won game of the show. Oof, that's a tough one. I can't. I. I'm gonna say Rainbow Six Siege because that's the one like major surprise for me because I knew the Halo Collection was was you know heavily rumored and stuff. But I didn't know I would see Rainbow Six again uh, um, at this event. I was hoping, but I, I didn't like. I wasn't convinced. In fact, I, I forgot about it until they sh the, until I, I realized what they were showing was was you know a new Rainbow Six game. And I'm like. You, yes, please. Yes, so that had to be my uh, game of show, or or, or uh, I must uh, surprising game, at least. Um, but yeah, but it was a solid, solid E3. Um, I thought it was well done. Had some awesome looking games, games that make me happy that the I'm a gamer, and while I am a handheld gamer. I'm just a gamer in general, and, and I love all gaming, and I look forward to us seeing the future of gaming with uh, these amazing, amazing titles. So, that's all I have to say. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm like stuttering, sorry that I'm exhausted. Um, expect a video Wednesday, because I'm uploading this Monday night, and I'm not doing it, you know, fuck that. So, expect a, expect a video on Wednesday. I'm done. Have a nice day. I, I hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. If you uh, have any tips and whatever, let me know down below. And uh, as always, uh, subscribe, like the video, whatever you want to do. I'm done. Have a nice day. And I'll see you guys sometime in, in the near future. Later.